How's it going everybody? Moose here. Today is September 28th, 2018. I am aboard my very filthy 2018 Ultra Limited on my way home from work. Thought I'd turn the camera on and chat at you for a minute. So, what's been going on in old Moose's life? Well, nothing too spectacular. Just working, doing homework, stuff like that. However, I do have a little weekend trip getaway planned here uh, around the 12th or so of October. I'm going to meet up with some friends and hang out for a couple days. Just uh, enjoy some riding. This lady's going to be down in the Tennessee area. It's as far as I'm aware. I'm not going to mention too much more about that because I'm not really positive what all has been mentioned to whom and uh, if the dates have been settled on yet. So, for sure. I'll uh, leave that up to the individuals who are planning this little shindig to mention on their prospective channels if they so wish. Other than that, I've been uh, doing pretty good. I've been watching the, uh, uh, the TV show The Office, you know, that uh, show that dealt uh, with a paper company and a documentary of The Office there. I watched a lot of them years ago, but I decided to watch the last few seasons that I never got the chance to watch on Netflix there. And saw that they ended the show really good, so that was awesome. But it kind of brought a question to mind. Even though the show was about a paper company, they didn't really mention paper a whole lot in the show. And it got me thinking about how we interact and use paper in our daily lives here in the and I was curious because you're always hearing that companies are going paperless and that's the big thing now with the new computer age and how you can securely store your data that you once stored on paper on a computer and then even have backups of it and I got to curious, what I was curious about is how long do you think it'll be until we actually see a full-on paperless world? I mean, will it happen in your lifetime or my lifetime? I, I don't know. My uh, place of business has been trying to reduce the amount of paper they use. However, there's still a lot of paper that is used uh, in the daily life of the business. And I'm not really sure how long it would be till they didn't use any paper at all. I mean, we're always printing things out of work. And, uh, you know, it seems like paper has a real important place in our lives even today. I mean, look at the post office. Their business has dropped off over the uh, last 20, 30 years. I'm sure. I was reading an article on it a little bit the other day and it was explaining the amount of uh, the amount of uh, paper uh, the amount of mail that's not delivered as it was back in, let's say, like 1980s when we really boomed with paper. I mean, so you figure no paper is going to have a negative effect on possibly the post office and postal workers that work for the post office. And I'm sure it's going to have a negative effect on book sales and different things like that, and magazine subscriptions, even though you can do a lot of them online now. When do you think the, uh, when do you think those things won't be published in a paper form anymore? I mean, how long will it be? 
You can find just about anything you want online nowadays. So I'm sure it's coming eventually, but... I mean, these, even in our general day-to-day -day lives that we live, not as a company, we use paper here and there. I mean, here's a question, you know. Like I just mentioned about books and whatnot. Most of the time now, you can uh, get a book on uh, digital ebook form or uh, digital form even, you know, where it's uh, read to you. Look. Do you enjoy the actual book? I mean, holding the book when you read it? Or do you enjoy the digital version more? Personally, I enjoy the personal. No, I'm sorry. Personally, I... <laughs> sorry, I stumbled my words there. Personally, I uh, like the digital formats. Uh, it's nice when you go somewhere that uh, you don't have to take a whole bunch of books with you. For instance, right now, my uh, college book is uh, online. It's, uh, you know, I can... It's a digital copy that I rent, which reduced the price significantly from the, what the bookstore would have asked for, used or new. Uh, to rent it, it was like $38 for the semester. To buy or rent it for the semester would have been like 130 to 190 I mean, that's just astronomical, the uh, difference in price. And I enjoy reading it on the screen and stuff. I mean, uh, you know, sure, the power goes out and your battery isn't charged and you don't have Wi-Fi, then yeah, you know, uh, I gotta wish you had the hard copy, but... I don't know, with phones nowadays, you can charge them off a little power brick. And you can usually get uh, LTE or 4G or 3G network to uh, look at your digital writings and stuff like that. So, I don't know. I think I like the idea of going paperless. I love getting less mail, especially junk mail. Although there is something special about a handwritten letter, possibly, over a type letter. I mean, the person had to take a little more time to write it out, put it in an envelope, place a stamp on it, mail it out to you. And it takes a while to get there, whereas digital, it's there automatically. You email it, you're done. So, I don't know, I guess it's uh, half a dozen of one and one of the other, right? I mean... I don't know, I guess, what are your thoughts on it? Do you think we'll ever be fully paperless in your lifetime, or do you think it'll be uh, off in the future quite a bit more than what they make it sound like it's going to be? I have a feeling it'll be like another 30, 40 years until uh, we actually go completely paperless. But that's about all I got. So, I'm going to cut off here and bid you all a fair and good day. Try to keep it safe out there if you can. Until next time, I'll talk at you later. See ya. Moose out.